Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about marshmallows, the delicious, juicy, sweet, deadly marshmallows. Not the marshmallow, not this, not, 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 it's the marshmallows. I don't know if you have heard about the marshmallow test or marshmallow experiment on children about the delayed gratification. Basically, in the late 60s, early 70s, a group of Stanford University researchers, the psychologists, gathered a group of children aged between four to six years old, and they put the children in front of a plate of marshmallow and told each of them uh, in an empty room with just uh, this plate and an empty desk with just marshmallows that if you wait 15 minutes without touching those marshmallows, without eating them, you'd have twice as much as marshmallows. And at that time, marshmallows, usually they were the favorite treat of the children. I mean, not like today you have so many choices. At that time, marshmallows were so attempting, were so good, and they could not resist. Some could not, and some could and this study on the delayed gratification several decades later and they did another study on those children who took the original test that the results obviously was that if you could resist the temptation you would have better career higher education more success in personal life better fitness Obviously, if you could resist the marshmallows when you were a four years old little child, you could resist and you could um, at least not grow fat, <laughs> at least. I mean, perhaps other things were um, a bit uh, exaggerated, but at least that you could uh, resist um, unhealthy food and you could have a healthier diet and then healthier mentality because you live healthier overall. It's just about well-being and perhaps this, the whole thing is exaggerated. But I never had one second of doubt. I always thought, of course, as a four years old, if you could resist the delicious marshmallow, you could achieve anything in life. You could uh, be resilient, work very hard and achieve uh, like to be the top of your company, to be a successful entrepreneur. Why not? And then uh, this morning, I read a blog post in the social media on today's children. They were not willing to wait and they wanted it now. They wanted uh, everything and they would um, immediately jump onto this thing that they want to uh, pursue. And suddenly I thought, wait a second, maybe it's a good thing. The marshmallows test was done in the 70s and today it's 2019, like it's almost 2020. Like it's so many, a half century has passed and obviously things has changed in this digital era, businesses, all these tendencies, technologies, everything happens so fast that you cannot really wait anymore. And perhaps the marshmallow test is outdated. And there are several problems, like the biggest problem today is that don't give children sugary treats. I mean, it's not healthy. Sugar is so addictive and sugar and salt killed more people than all the wars in the world combined. Okay, I'm just kidding. This is not really the reason. Perhaps as an artist, as an entrepreneur, waiting for things to happen, like if someone tells you, this is good, just wait. I don't think it is the right way. Because what if things changed and the rules of the game changed and suddenly you don't even have this marshmallow anymore. Like everything is taken away from you because you didn't take any actions. The opportunities would run away from you. You need to be really updated to act fast when opportunities come. And the second problem is that the marshmallows might not be real marshmallows. Today, uh, art dealer, uh, art gallerists come to you and say, this is the opportunity. And then another artist come to you, this is the opportunity. And you never know which is the real opportunity unless you try. If I would be uh, presented with this plate of marshmallow, at least I would take one and have a small bite and to see if those marshmallows were real, if they are tasty, if those marshmallows are in the flavor that I like, at least I wanna really see if I would like to spend the next 15 minutes waiting for the next plate to come. If I don't like it at all, why would I wait, right? I would just say, sorry, I don't want this experiment, I quit. And I would leave the room to pursue something, to use my time better, to not miss out other opportunities. And there are other things, of course, that 
you cannot just passively wait for the opportunities to come. You, you have to take actions. You have to perhaps tell the researchers, bargain with them. And you could perhaps knock on the door next door and speak to other participants in this game, in this experiment, collaborate. I mean, there are many things you could do instead of waiting in an empty room in front of this marshmallows that might not even be real marshmallows. Of course, I have also suggested artists to be patient, just do your thing, and things, um, success will come, money will come. Yes, this is true. You have to be patient. You have to do your job. It will take you a lifetime to grow to 1 million followers. Perhaps you should growth hack. Perhaps you should pay someone on Upwork or Fiverr to speed up the process for you. Instead of waiting, there are many things that you could do. And of course, you have still to be patient because um, if you want really the immediate results, you'd spend uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars and this is not the money everybody would have. And you have to find the balance between how much you're willing to invest and how much time you're willing to wait for the success to come and to have a balance between you know, the time you spend and money you spend. Usually if you spend the money, you don't need to spend so much time. And if you don't have the money, you need to spend the time. And don't listen to the marshmallows experiment guy telling you the rule of the game. The rules of the games are changing. Always keep yourself up to date and learn about the new tendencies in the art market so that you can react to different opportunities presented to you. That's all what I want to say about the marshmallows. Don't eat sugary um, treats and don't drink Coca-Cola. That's the moral of the, actually the moral of the story. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.